there's all my car boot pickups from last weekend. Not too much. It was really busy, the car boots. Lots of buyers and lots of sellers, but literally no retro stuff at all. But yeah, I think I spent about £30 in all. I'll just show you a non-gaming item. Babylon 5, the exclusive limited edition video set. Never seen it before, so I was a big Babylon 5 fan. I think it's the most underrated sci-fi that there ever was. It's absolutely brilliant. So this was just the the two films that came out. The first one, which was in the beginning, which is a really definitely the best of all the movies they did. And third space. It comes with a big big creating book. So I need to find out a price online. See if that's worth anything. Um, I picked these up from a friend who was doing a car boot and I didn't realise he had some gaming stuff. So I picked up um, Lara Croft collectible car game, which I didn't know they did. One is sealed. One is unsealed, but he says he's never opened it. <coughs> so yeah, so I need to find some more info on that. Yeah, and that, they were like £1, so... It's quite funny, I work at a supermarket and I see people, like loads of people every day. And you just suddenly go to a car boot and the people you see every day are like doing a massive car boot and you miss out on stuff, gaming stuff, and you're like, damn it. <laughs> so now half the time I see people or speak to them, do they have any gaming stuff? Put up another cube. That's 50p. PSP game, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories. I'm seeing a lot of PSP games lately. So I'm, sometimes I don't pick them up because I'm just I'm too busy like, trying to find the old retro stuff. But yeah, but... But more I see it, more I'm trying to pick it up. <clears throat> My friend also had Duck Hunt and Mario Kart for the NES. F Zero X. What else did he have? Ah, and a random PlayStation 2 kind of cheat card. Zoom out, yeah, a random max action replay. Comes with a kind of memory card thing. So I've never seen one of them before. F-Zero X. I don't think I've got F-Zero X. No, I think I picked up a box version the other day. But this looks like in really good condition. Dot Hunt and Mario. I don't think I got the... I got them separate, but not in a double pack. So that's really good to pick up. I picked up a PS2. <coughs> picked up a silver PS2. And just the power cable. And that was £5 with loads of games. <laughs> and it came with Resident Evil Outbreak, Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. I remember, I think File 2 was the first online game I actually played. Yeah, I remember getting the network adapter and playing that online, and there was like four or five of us running around, which I really enjoyed. I wish they would sort of re release it so you can actually play it online. The new resis, I don't know, they just don't seem to be that fun compared to Outbreak File 2. It's really good. So it came with these games as well. Play It Chess Challenge, FIFA 2003, Final Night, Final Fight, or Fight Tonight Round 2, Poker Masters, Tom Glancy's Ghost Recon, Jungle Storm, and Cold Fear. Oh, and there's another Ghost Recon. The very first Ghost Recon. So, Cold Fear. I've always wanted to play that. I don't know what type of game it is. Always thought it was a f <coughs> I always thought it was a first person, but it looks like really... looks really good. So, yeah. So, all that and the PS PlayStation was £5. So, yeah. So, I thought that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, it just literally just came with the PlayStation, came with the PlayStation 2. I haven't even opened it, it might be some random game in there. Nope. And it came with the power adapter, but without the kettle part, so yeah. And then I just went to the next, when I went to the next car boot, I just picked up the kettle for 50p. And I've got loads of old PS2 AV cables. Also popped into a local market and picked these up. If I basically have a car boot, I always just go to this market, um, par market in um, Cornwall, near St. Austell. I picked these two, Super Monaco Grand Prix. I didn't actually know they actually did a single version of it on its own, but yeah, glad to pick that up. 
and a yellow Game Boy. That, this was 15 quid. Well, 15 quid for the pair. Yeah, 15 quid for the pair, which I think is pretty good. Definitely games I need for my collection. Now for some PS1 stuff, Destruction Derby, Wipeout, the big box version, Abe's Exodus, Bomberman World, <coughs> never played this Bomberman, played some um, Bomberman version with like one of those creatures on the front, yeah so that's one to five players, so that's a, that'd be a good shout for my gaming night which I have every, <coughs> every four Fridays, picked up Command and Conquer, Tetris, Point Blank, All Star Boxing. All these were like a pound each, I think, pound fifty p. All from the same woman. I think someone, yeah, I think another collector came along and he picked up. She said she had two Final Fancies, so I missed out on the two Final Fancies. But he must have not been a proper collector because I thought he at least picked, picked up Bomberman and Abe's Exodus. Yeah, point blank. It's always good to have a spare point blank just in case I pick up a boxed gun version. Time Crisis, Diablo, and Hogs of War. Didn't know Diablo was going for like 20, 25 pounds now on eBay. I guess because the new one came out. Everyone's been buying Diablo. There's none for sale on Amazon, but checked on eBay. It's like buy it now, 25 pounds. Yeah, so Diablo. Hogs of War was a very funny game, it was like Worms 3D. Re they did like a retro collector article on it. Bit of a funny game, which I remember. Mech Warrior 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 and um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The Sith Lords. So I need to do some information on that, because I've never seen that before. It looks really good. Mechuroyo 2, I always used to get this confused with um, Crazy Ivan. Because I, oh, I thought this was Link Up, so I thought I'd pick it up, but it's not, it's just normal. But my Crazy Ivan's the one that's Link Up, and that used to be well funny, Crazy Ivan. Star Wars Battlefront, goes for 4 or £5 pound on, um, oh no, book. So yeah, it goes for 4 or £5 pound on, um, for the PS2 version, so I'm not quite sure. What that version's not going for? Yeah, Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> Gotta give that a good spin. I don't know if it's like a just a normal hack and slash game, I guess. <clears throat> My best deal of the day was buying these. All the retro goddesses. A guy had a Mega Drive 2 for sale. For like 12 quid. <coughs> and I said, oh, how much How much are just the games? And he said, £2 for all the games. <laughs> and he's selling the Mega Drive for £10. So I got all these for £2. Thunder Force 2. Definitely needed that game. That's one game. I always seem to find the bloody cartridge. Never the game. Super Monaco Grand Prix 2. So yeah, so I picked up the little collection. Spot goes to Hollywood. I was never a fan of Spot when I was younger. So yeah, he's one of the one of the, the sort of later Mega Drive games. So Road Rash 2. It looks quite feels quite light, yeah, no no manual. Last battle. Definitely needed that for my collection. Oh, it's all sellotaped. That means the box is broken. Nope, it's all box and complete. Another Jurassic Park. Oh, whatever what do you just find bloody Jurassic Park? Oh, there's another manual in there. Oh no, it must be just the back. Oh, and Mega Games 1. I sort of need the Super Hang On book. Oh, no book again. So, yeah, I'll be trading that in. Also, just a disc on its own. Friendly. 11.79 on a memory card. Yeah, so I think I would pick. I think I spent about 32 pound for all these. Feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to 
give me some more info on those Tomb Raider collectible car games. I can't find much online, so I don't know if they're rare or not. Never seen them before. Cheers, thanks for watching. Hello, Richkin Retro here. Back with another pickup video. This is all my car boot pickups from last weekend. Not too much. It was really.